Adam Think got a man who lists his greatest sporting attribute as his sneaker collection. It's a radio host and one time most improved for his under eight soccer team, Jabba! <laughs> yeah. Jabba, I, I'm not sure how having lots of sneakers really uh, makes for a sporting attribute, to be honest. Well, you, you know, it's, it's like any profession, you need the wardrobe, Pete. So, uh, you know, I, I like to have a lot of sneakers. I'll, I'll bring out probably you bet, one of my highlights. This is this has actually come out of the. Oh, you can hear the gasping in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> this should shouldn't have come out of the box, but the ABC policy. I've had to bring it out of the box. It's a stormtrooper. Uh, it's actually eleven and a half. I take a twelve. Doesn't fit me, but uh, oh. I bought it anyway. Massive Star Wars fan. Okay, four rounds to get through. Let's okay. clear the sneakers and get stuck into round one. <laughs> Buzz in if you know the answers. Here we go. Can I just, I'm sorry, but just for a second, for the first time in the history of the trophy room, Jabba's wearing a glove for the answer oh, questions. I like it. He's taking it seriously. He's taking it seriously. Okay. One point, Jabba. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> At a 2010 World Cup in South Africa, what was the name of the horn? Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela, I'll give you yeah. that. It was the Vuvuzela. It was. It provided the unwanted soundtrack. Uh, what's this video of Qatar playing Uzbekistan in the quarterfinal of the Asian Cup? The game is into injury time and the score is 0 0. What happened next? Team Adam. The Qatari guy in the dark shirt going through there on the ball misses the easiest chance Ever. in the history of football. Gets around the keeper and then taps one somehow wide. And misses it. On the right hand side. Does the guitarist <laughs> miss the, an easy goal? Let's have a look. There he goes. Gets past the goalie. Yeah, go. Ordinary performance. That's a goal! Oh! <laughs> yeah, hit the post! Hit the post! Yeah, hit the post! Yeah, hit the post. <laughs> and they got the World Cup! Yeah. What? I can't believe it when he said it. Your score is now on 10, Team uh, Amanda. Team Adam on 8. But Two we didn't give any questions! Now, <laughs> it's a good point, Jabba. Now it's your. <laughs> Now it's your opportunity, isn't it? Because <laughs> you're going to play Jabba off pitch. <laughs> if you thought our sports stars just say memorable things, think again. Sometimes they sing them as well. They make music videos that live as timeless classics that almost none of us see. In this game, you have to complete the lyrics from the options listed. Let the horror begin. Last night, banging like a hammer in me head. Jacko from 985, oh. VFL, <laughs> Me Brain Hurts is the classic title. Uh, is it A, it gets it when I think, B, it starts to almost stink, or C, me noodles on the blink? Well, there, um, it gets it when I think? I'll be going the first I one. reckon A. Let's check it out. Me brain hurts, me noggin on the blink. Me brain hurts, it's trying to make a drink. Me brain hurts, it gets us when I think. My brain, I've got a bit of a headache all of a sudden. Oh. It's, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my, oh. Hey. 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 That's Megamind. Hey. <laughs> Watch out, kids. Now, while our teams slack off for a bit, let's take a look at the leaderboard. It's based on the results of our very sophisticated hand eye coordination test, which we put each of our guests through before the show. Developed by the New South Wales Institute of Sport, you have to hit the dots as they light up, reacting as quickly as you can. The faster you finish, the better you score. Let's see how our players oh. did this week. And in a shock, ladies and gentlemen, Tim Ross Woo. at number one. Oh. Oh. Four seconds. Another shot, Jabba at number two. Yeah. Let's go and see how they all fit in on the championship leaderboard. James Courtney still number one. Rosso finishing just behind Chris Smith and behind you, your mate Merrick Watts. Let's turn over the page. Jabba mm. in at night behind Jane Savile. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it with round three, our physical challenge round. And today's challenge is the toss. Who won the NRL's 2010 Delhi M Award? Dally M. It was, wasn't, wasn't it the great Todd recovery Carney. of Todd Carney? Todd Carney. Did he won, he won the Dally M? Because there's a few different ones. It was him, wasn't it? Had a horror last season, came back. Todd Carney? Not wasn't Rod Carney? Not Rod Carney. <laughs> <laughs> and there was no one else called Todd. I, Todd Carney? The comeback hit, it was Todd Carney. Yeah! yeah. Right. Look at that, MVP. Right. 
that. Which cricketer achieved an unwanted king pair in the second Ashes test? Yeah, that's the big, burly fast bowler Ryan Harris, isn't it? Of course it is. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> who else would get the king pair? It was Ryan Harris who came out to bat and got absolutely nothing both times. Got out. I think so. I'm not sure on this one. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting a semi-positive vibe from there Marina. Is. I'm getting a definite from Jabba, but I think he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Despite that, we're going with Ryan Harris. Harris. Ryan Harris is yes. absolutely correct. King pair, which is uh, two golden ducks in consecutive innings. To the nearest hour, how long did the first round match between John Eisner... Oh, 11 hours. 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 And was more than 30 hours? minutes, so almost oh. 12 hours. 11 hours. You're the numbers guy! <laughs> yeah, smash it! <laughs> you need an answer. Also, ready to uh, pounce, guys. 12 hours? Go with 11. To the nearest hour, how long did the first round match between John Eisner and Nicholas Mahout at Wimbledon take to play? You said 12. You should have gone with your gut reaction. It was 11. Oh! Man, it's a hoax. <laughs> Who held the lofty AFL Premiership trophy as captain of the winning oh. side in the 2010 Grand Final replay? <sighs> Maxwell. Nick Maxwell is correct. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the 2010 V8 Supercar champion? The great man that we had on a couple of weeks ago. James Courtney. James Courtney. Trophy Rooms James Courtney oh, is oh, correct. Yeah, is he now the Trophy He's Rooms James Courtney? Yes. <laughs> you are, oh, you are the Trophy Rooms Jabber. Trophy Rooms one of the games with Taylor. <laughs> trophy Rooms John Eels and Trophy Rooms Rosso. <laughs> I'm not asking the question again, I'm just repeating it all the time. Are, are there any questions that's not about sport? <laughs> 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 it's not Spicks and Specs. <laughs> oh. Wrong show. Well, not really, anyway. <laughs> So, I better, uh, please thank our guest tonight, Tim Ross Woo! and Johnny, <laughs> Melinda Ganford Taylor <laughs> and Gabba. <laughs> and we'll be back too. We'll see you next year, and by that I mean next week. Happy New Year, everyone, from all of us here in the trophy room. Woo! See you next week. Woo! Well, it was great to give Melinda Ganford Taylor and Carl Lewis just that closure. Carl Lewis, you cannot sing. I think psh, I'll be back hosting uh, Trophy Room Season 2. Sorry, Pete. Thanks. <laughs>